Hey everybody, um, happy Sunday on Ambiguity. This is Taylor. I hope you all know me at this point. If not, hi, I'm Taylor. Um, this week's topic, we're talking about, like, gender marker changes and the, like, legality of all that. Um, gender, name changes, etc. And all that on falls under that. Um, just as a disclaimer, I only know the experience for people transitioning in Massachusetts in the United States as a prior concept, but each state has different policies at the moment. Um, I don't think there's one universal one because it's a lot different to transition here versus like in another part of the country versus another slash another country. Um, so I'm just going to be talking about my experience. Um, I think it's interesting going that Sunday people are going first now um, because now you're going to hear my perspective, you're going to hear um, a bunch of different people, and then you're going to hear us all throughout the week talking about this. So you're going to get a bunch of different perspectives from a, bu a bunch of different places. There we go. That's what I was meaning to say. Um, so first off, I do not have my name legally changed. Um, I don't feel it's necessary at the moment, but I will go through with the process eventually. Just because um, my name is always Taylor. It has legally been Taylor since the day I was born. And it probably will be the legal name until I die, probably, because I hate le legal stuff. So, if I want a name change, it probably won't be through the court. Um, but, to get a name change done in Massachusetts, legally, let's do it. Um, so, through the court system in the state of Massachusetts, you need to fill out a name change form, which is available on the, like, court's website for the state, generally. I believe uh, you fill that out, and they bring it to the mat, whatever your district family court is. So for me, it's like 20 minutes away from me in the biggest city in my area, let's call it. Um, so I bring it there. Um, it's about, I think it's like 225 to get a name change done. Um, and you can fill out, I don't, um, it's some type of form. You can fill out a form, let's call it, um, that asks for your income and basically states, I don't make enough money that I could supply the government with $225, which I will probably do if I end up doing that, because let's be real, I'm a college student. I don't have $225 to drop on a middle name change, because all I would change is my middle name to Christian. I wouldn't do much else. So um, you fill out that, if you do, bring that with your form, with your name change on it. You usually would ask um, why you're changing your name um, I would particularly do common usage. Um, you don't really need to disclose to the court you're trans. I don't see the purpose in disclosing to the court. It's none of their business. If you're trans or not, you just need your name changed. Um, only reason they ask is because um, name changes if you've committed a crime are real. Um, they would probably do a background check though, so if you didn't commit a crime, you're good. Um, but also where I struggle with is I don't know whether I need my birth certificate um, to get my name changed because you do. But I was not born in Massachusetts, and that's where I struggle, and that's why I really haven't gone gotten much progress with it. Because to change my... I don't know whether I need my birth certificate changed in the state I was born in, which is Arizona, and they're not the best. Um, but they're not also not the worst, you know what I mean? Um, if anyone from Arizona is watching this right now, um, comment below if you've had a name change experience with the courts, slash, with that whole thing. Um, I don't know whether I need to go through their court system to get my name, my middle name changed, or if I need to do it in Massachusetts, even though I have an Arizona birth certificate, it's odd, I don't know. So that's probably why I haven't done it, <laughs> because I don't know what to do at this point. Um, after that, there's usually a court hearing. Usually with the outcome of, okay, yeah, your name's changed. Court adjourned. Um, but um, usually changing in school is very easily. I say school very vaguely just because it doesn't really fall under the legal category, but it's a name change in the long run and a gender marker change, so it kind of counts in the same. Uh, Massachusetts elementary schools, particularly K through 12, are really good in the terms of understanding and working with trans students 
Um, I used to work with the Department of Elementary and Secondary Ed, telling my story to, like, educators and stuff at different schools. And from that point, it's kind of like, okay, here's your real-life example. This is your chance to ask questions. So these educators who are cis and don't know better can know better and not all, and also not make the student feel uncomfortable. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I just got a text message. Sad person. Um, but, yeah. College, I have not gotten my middle name changed. There's a lot of bullshit, pardon my language, that is at my university. Like, when I got in, I was like, oh, can I change my middle name? And they're like, like to Christian or whatever because I don't have it legally changed. But it's close enough to my middle name now. It's not going to be used. You change my gender marker, fine change my name and they refused saying I need a legal thing so I didn't so I'm just Taylor Glickman no male name they're like we can take the male name out but we can't give you the male name you want thanks um yeah so that's my experience with name changes um I hope you all are doing well <laughs> and I hope you all have had positive slash are going to have positive name change experiences but life updates for me because I'm going to round this out. It's almost at seven minutes. You know, the same deal I do a lot. I talk. Um, so I am almost in like a week. I will be, oh my God, 21 months on testosterone. Wait, 22 months. <laughs> so that's been a fun ride. Uh, my dosage went up. So I am now doing 0.4 a week. Versus 0.3 like I was doing before. Um, I think you're supposed to be doing like... I don't know. They said my dosage was really low. But I still get facial hair. So I'm really not complaining. I'm, they're like, oh. Do you want to change? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, okay, sure. I don't care. Um, so that's a thing. Also, on the 29th, I am getting revisions done on my chest. So I'm very excited about that. I move into school on the 4th. Kind of excited about that. I don't know. School's weird for me. I don't like it. I don't really have friends. Mm. It's odd. I don't... Mm. If you're in Western Mass and want to hang at UMass, I have a single you can crash in, so let me know, fam. Um, but, yeah. I'm going to round this video out. It is like 35 at this point. Um, but, yeah. Have an awesome week. I will hopefully see you next Sunday. Uh, time permitting, let's call it. I just had a lot of time this weekend to make a video. Um, but, yeah. Cool. I will see you soon. Okay. Bye.